service of research. So focus group, we try to get even 10 or 20 customers or prospects at the same time in the same venue is going to be really, really difficult, right? Especially when you don't have any credibility uh, or you're a smaller startup, early stage startups, right? And even for a bigger company, it takes time, it takes effort, it takes money and resources. One, number two, even when you get there, the effectiveness is marginal at best. Why? What if there is one loudmouth customer and he or she keeps talking and talking and others are silent and he or she dominates the conversation such a way that you really are not able to get insight from other people, right? So sometimes it can backfire. Uh, so it takes time and may not be as effective. That doesn't mean people should not do it, but for early stage startups, I won't recommend that, right? I, I won't recommend that. Customer interviews, yeah, they do take time, but you know, you go one by one by one, get 15, 20, and you actually have pretty good insight if you do it right, right? So your speed of learning is actually a lot faster. And you start getting every time you talk to the customer, even if you did five, you are actually getting better at interviewing them and getting better at identifying the patterns, identifying the pattern. And that's why for faster learning as well as virtually no cost, because you know you have to just reach out to the people and then find the right people and then uh, you know talk to them, right? And I'll, I'll tell you how to engage, how to engage them, uh, you know, and so forth. So uh, again, pick customer interviews, and that's what we're going to focus on in today's conversation.